guy saying, like, I know there's the whole thing about them walking around the day because the guy said, like, in this in the first game, he's like, they used to let him walk around in the day until they bit someone in the fucking brain. And then in the second game, prequel or whatever, he says they are allowed to walk around during the day and all that shit. But it's like, okay, what's the point of they're not allowed to walk around during the day, then why do they walk around at all? Like, what is the fucking point? If you're not gonna allow them to walk around, isn't that the main attraction? Isn't that the point? Like, he, and he, in the second game, he says it as if it's, like, some, some, like, great thing. Like, oh, isn't that cool? They let him walk around during the day. It's like, isn't that what they're supposed to do? Isn't that their, isn't that the point of having them? Or I mean, I know they're supposed to perform on stage, but if they're strictly for the stage only, then couldn't they just, like, bolt their feet to the floor or something like that? Then you wouldn't have to worry about them trying to come kill you. Probably some ulterior motives going on and shit like that. And I think maybe the phone guy's in on the murder, but I think I have some more notes about that because this shit is so complicated. Thought he was the murderer. I still kind of think that. But we'll see about that. Especially considering, like, yeah, don't leave, it's fine, blah, 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 like people have been talking about. But maybe that's because he is, like, the new owner or something, and he doesn't want his, like, company to go under. Five Nights at Freddy's 2, right, in the back of, like, if you look at your map of cameras and stuff like that, there's, like, two rooms in the back. I'm assuming that's, like, the parts rooms or whatever that has, like, no cameras. So you can't even see, and there's, like, there's, like, two rooms, and then there's, like, a long, like, area, like, connecting the two rooms. And, like, you can't even see hardly any of that either. It could be going on back there. There could be loads of bodies, so... Because people are saying the marionette is probably, like, the spirit of the dead kids. and Or, like, all of the animatronics are supposed to be possessed by the dead kids or something like that. But here's what I don't get, okay? So if the murders are taking place in Five Nights at Freddy's 2, like, they, the murders take place on, like, day three or something like that. First of all, why would the dolls already be possessed at that point? Or, like, already trying to fucking kill you on nights one and two? And second of all, like, oh, it's five kids that possess the five dolls. More than five dolls. Like, and they're all trying to kill you. There's like ten, right? And they're all trying to kill you, so... We're going on than just the possession of the suits or whatever. There was previous murder, and then some of the spirits went to some of the suits, and then the new murder. Some of the spirits went into some of the suits, but so instead of being the spirit of the child, maybe the marinette is the killer. You play as a puppet in the minigame, but then what if when you stuff the kids in the suits, the kids aren't really dead yet, and that's you killing them? People are dressed in a suit to lure away the kids, and then at the end, it's like the guy basically says on night six that it was the, the golden Freddy suit. I don't think anyone could fit in the marinette because it's really skinny. The killer dressed up as f the yellow Freddy. And then locked up the kids to- he wanted to come back and like mol molest them and like rape them and stuff. But when he put them in the- in the closet or wherever, the dressing room, then maybe the puppet came and murdered them. Maybe the phone guy is a killer. He came back- like, he's living double life basically. Like, in the day, he's the phone guy. He records his messages and does whatever shit he gonna do. At night, he comes back and maybe he's like double personality, like- He doesn't even know that it's himself doing it. He really like legitly thinks the next morning that somebody else committed murders. But really, it was him. And he's, like, wandering around. Like, he thinks it's the puppet, but it was him. And maybe he's just, like, seeing the puppet. Because people were talking about, like, Balloon Boy being a hallucination or whatever. But I'm like, nah, I think that one's real. Because it's like, he doesn't seem that special. I mean, he doesn't harm you, but whatever. He's in cahoots with the others because of the flashlight shit or whatever. But I think the marionette is the biggest candidate for, like, being... A mirage because the balloon boy and everyone else comes through like the fence and the hallway and stuff but like the marionette just it just pops out of thin air so I think that's why you know the biggest like evidence for it being the one that's fake and the one not really the spirit of the dead kid but it's more like the spirit of like the murderer inside of you like your own guilt or whatever the suits the old suits are got possessed by the dead kids and the new ones just have, like, they're trying to kill you because of their, like, predator te catching technology. Like, they're just robots with really good AI. The possessed ones have, like, possession over two suits each or something. But I think it doesn't make sense that if the murders are going on, during, like, a few days into the game. Maybe the killer had lured away kids before you started playing. 
and that they only just like the police came on day three because that's when they like started investigating it had already maybe been a week or a week and a half or something since the kids got murdered and then in which case it would be like uh that's when they possessed the suits like right before he got there and that's then he still said that like before he even mentioned any of that shit he said that even so basically he said that since the old restaurant that the suits have been trying to murder people and put them in suits and shit like that so i don't know what happened at the old place that's where all the secrets lie okay